welcome back to another vlog and if you're new here hello and welcome my name is Amy and I make these lifestyle vlogs and if you've been following me recently I've been doing a lot of home content lately because we just bought a house and we've been doing renovations and such so that is the kind of stuff that I upload here on my channel so I would love to have you guys join and follow along in this journey today is Friday Hallelujah. Before we jump into the video, I do have quite a few updates about the renovation. <sighs> yeah, a lot of frustrating things have happened, but I will get into it in a little bit. Before we get into all of that, I wanted to thank Static Nails for collaborating with me on this portion of the video. I am so over the moon about this collaboration you guys i mean it's such a nice feeling to collaborate with a brand that you already have purchased from before like in the past i am such a loyal customer of static nails i've bought their nail polishes with my own money and i absolutely love them so so much it's actually one of my top three brands for nail polishes it's definitely a go-to of mine so that's what makes this collaboration even more fulfilling and rewarding for me i just can't believe that i'm collaborating with static nails that's just insane to me if you guys don't know about static nails they are an amazing nail polish brand they create pop-on manicures which are kind of like the fake nails that you can glue onto your real nails so they don't damage your nails you know uh, how many times can i say nails in this video <laughs> Take a shot every time I say nails because you'll be quite drunk. They also create these amazing glass finish regular nail polishes, which are just my favorite. Ever since the pandemic, I have been religiously painting my own nails. I find it actually very soothing and kind of therapeutic. You guys probably already noticed that one of my go-to things that I do for myself as a self-care kind of routine is to paint my own nails because I just feel better when I have really nicely polished nails for some reason. It just makes, it's it just really lifts up my mood, especially if I love the color. A huge, huge thank you to Static Nails for gifting me some of their nail polishes to show you guys today. They recently came out with a new collection called Mad Happy and oh my gosh, it is like the best summery colors in a collection. I'm also very happy to say that all of their products are non-toxic and they're all made in the USA, which is always a great thing. Okay, that's it. Enough talking, let's get into the colors. So I did a terrible job of painting my nails because I tried to be artsy and I really wanted to do some fun summery nails with a design on it because I've been seeing so many cute designs on Instagram and I just tried to do it for the first time and it just didn't work out. It looks fine from a distance, I think it looks cute. And I did get compliments on them, so I don't think I did a terrible, terrible job, but I'll post a picture of what they initially looked like right after I painted them because um, my nails right now aren't in the best condition because I'm very, very rough and brutal with my nails. I pick at things, I'm very like, I abuse my nails so, so much. So honestly, the Static Nails Polish Lasting Power is incredible because if it was just any polish, it would be chipping by now. I mean, it would be chipping in like two to three days for me. The colors that I used for this design on my nails today are called Tangerine. Oh. Hello? As I was saying, I have Tangerine and Little Beach House and those names are so freaking adorable. But look at these colors, you guys. They're so, so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry my lighting is washing them out a little bit. They are more vibrant in person, but I'll go ahead and link everything below. I also think I have a discount code, so I'll go ahead and include that if you guys are interested in purchasing them. The only thing that I've tried from them that I wasn't a huge, huge fan of was their nail polish remover that they have, but I think it's because of the packaging I wasn't a huge fan of. I can see why some people would really like it, but I'm more of like a dump on a cotton round and 
remove kind of girl the dropper kind of is slippery for me because I don't I don't really like using the dropper it's just personal preference so that's something that I didn't really enjoy myself but the polish formula itself is amazing it does not dry out your cuticles or your nails at all and it's all made with safe ingredients so it was very impressive the formula but I just didn't like the packaging but I highly recommend all of their products I mean I so far haven't been disappointed with any of them to be honest like I love every like every single color that I own from them I love I everything goes on so smooth it's bubble free it makes the application so much easier the brush is like wide but still precise enough where I don't mess up it's just all around a superb product so I I'm so grateful that they gifted me some products because I'm obsessed with their nail polish and I will be using them forever. Unless they change their formula, but if the formula stays the same and it's consistent, like, you know, how, my, how I'm experiencing now, I'm gonna be using their polishes forever, so. Just saying. <laughs> I might actually do an Instagram poll on my Instagram account and see which color you guys want me to paint my nails. So I'll actually do that right now on my phone and see what color wins for me to paint my nails later. With that said, thank you again so, so much to Static Nails for collaborating with me for this portion of the video. It's Friday at 6 p.m. and I was going to give you guys an update on the whole renovation <laughs> fiasco. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, please feel free to look at my past two videos. The past two videos cover where we are exactly in the renovation process. So I show a lot of details in those videos, especially the last one. So if you guys are curious what we're doing to the kitchen and the floors and bathrooms and things like that, go ahead and check that video out. It's super fun. Since then, I have talked to the contractor who is in charge of doing our renovations a couple days ago. And we told him the materials that we want to use for the quartz and for the flooring because we went to the warehouse we looked at all the quartz options and all the options for the flooring with the vinyls and everything and we really really fell in love with this one specific quartz and it is back ordered for like months I was really devastated actually because I cannot imagine not having those quartz and with a renovation as big and as important as this is to me, this is the first time that, you know, we bought a home and that we're making it our own. I'm just really passionate about this home project that I cannot let this go. I am such a perfectionist and I definitely have like OCD tendencies when it comes to my belongings and my space and my home. So I feel like if we do not wait for this quartz, I'm gonna regret it because I will know, like my brain will know that I am settling <laughs> and my brain brain will not forget it. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. So now we're kind of stuck on what to do, what our next steps are because the quartz that we want is back ordered or it's not even back ordered, you can't even order it now and then wait, there's like no accurate estimate of when it will be in stock so that's the whole issue right now is that they're like oh we might get it in a couple months but it's not a guarantee either so we just it's like this unknown thing hovering over our heads that is bothering me the most and as for the vinyl floors that we picked out <laughs> It is also back ordered or you know not available right now it's currently getting shipped so it's there's a better possibility of it being becoming available in the next few weeks but that's still in the next few weeks we have to wait for everything i mean there's it's just a huge waiting game at this point so we are living in our home without a backsplash without our backsplash by the way is also not available right now so they have to order it and it's going to take about two weeks to get in which is fine but the backsplash can't be installed until the countertops come which is the quartz and we don't know when that's going to come so nothing can really be done right now which is frustrating because we're living in a kitchen 
that is backsplash list and we had to clear out all the counters the countertops and then we have to like move everything back and forth because we need to cook in the kitchen and eat so it's just been really frustrating and kind of a hassle to do that every day and then for the floors you guys have seen what our floors look like downstairs i mean it is completely bare it looks like something that's literally under construction because it is we are gonna be living in that state until god knows when i and you know it beats me i don't know when the vinyl floors are gonna come in either so it's just a mess right now <laughs> i feel so silly because before we were like oh yeah they said that it was gonna be done in a month and we, at first we didn't believe them but now we are believing them because they demolished everything so so quickly literally in like two days they did everything in terms of like demolishing and ripping out everything but now they can't even do anything because the materials aren't here anyway I'm done ranting, but that's kind of the situation right now. So for the next few vlogs, you're probably not gonna be seeing a lot of renovation related stuff, which some of you guys might like, some of you guys won't like, but I mean, we're in this together. I will obviously update you guys on what's happening. Yeah, we will see. It is what it is. On a brighter note though, we did get one shipment delivered from West Elm because we did order quite a few pieces of furniture from West Elm and we got one thing delivered yesterday which I was really excited about because you know everything will slowly trickle in in the next three months or so um, and this was like the first thing that we got it is our dining table bench we don't even have our dining table but we got the bench in so I mean better than nothing so let me go ahead and show you guys what that looks like because it is a beauty very, very cute. Romper is so sleepy. <laughs> what a cutie. Okay, so this is what the bench looks like. Isn't she pretty? Oh my gosh, and it is so sturdy. I did show this on my Instagram story, so. I, oh my gosh, like the texture and everything is just so sturdy and strong. Oh. This is like amazing. I mean, I cannot wait until the actual dining table comes in so that it can all be a cohesive look. <laughs> he really likes this shag rug. This one is from Amazon, if you guys are curious. I love these rugs, but it's really hard to vacuum. That's the only downside, but Romper loves it. So I guess it's worth it. <laughs> But that's the bench that I was talking to you guys about and we also got this new rug from Amazon I mean, I am obsessed with this thing. This is a kind of um, uh, what is it a thinner rug? That is much easier to clean and vacuum We bought a big one because we needed it to fill up the space and we got this size so that it can encapsulate like our whole couch that we are getting in September. This couch right now, I freaking hate. I mean, it doesn't look bad or anything. It just, it's so, so uncomfortable. It's unreal. Like this gives you back and neck pains for sure. Uh, this one we got from Way uh, Wayfair for like $500 and now we know why it's so cheap um, for a couch. But we're getting our new couch. We already purchased it and it's coming in in September. So it's gonna be quite a while of waiting, but it'll be worth it. And it's gonna look so good with this rug. Oh, love it. All right, I just posted a poll on my Instagram. It says, which color should I paint my nails? I really wanna paint my nails this yellow or purple, so we will see what other people say. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, we are <laughs> so extra. So Charlie and I bought this little kitty pool. We bought it because we are going to bathe our dog Romper in it so that we stop clogging our drain when we give him a bath. <laughs> and we are just in our garage and we're gonna do this. Here we are. <laughs> Here we are. 
We're gonna fill it up with some water. I think Romper will enjoy this more than he usually does with um with bats because he's not the biggest fan so hopefully this will make it a little bit more fun for him i'm hoping so we put like two little floaty balls in there and i'm really hoping that he likes it better we will see <laughs> this is great this is how we're gonna spend our summers bathing our dog in a kiddie pool yeah I am drinking a new drink I haven't featured on my channel before. It's called Drunk Fruit. It's so, so cute. Not gonna lie, I got drawn into the packaging because look at this drink. It is adorable. It came with a pack of six, I believe, and they were all different flavors. I think my favorite was lychee because I am a huge sucker for lychee flavored anything like lychee candy, lychee drinks, lychees in general. Like I love the fruit. I'm not sure if you guys have ever tried the actual yuzu fruit because I haven't, but it literally just tastes like a citrus drink. But okay, let's zoom in on this adorable packaging because it is so adorable. Interestingly enough, the contractors did not come into the house today to work on stuff. I'm curious why, but I think it's just because they're probably waiting on parts to arrive, but I thought that they would go ahead and still do some repairs because we do have some repairs that we need to do to the exterior of the house because we have some sightings that need remedying. <laughs> we need we need to get these things done. <laughs> I'm just being impatient. It's only like day three, so I'm sure they'll start coming again soon. It was actually nice to have a break though of just having the house to ourselves without people coming in and out and without all the noise. So Charlie and I are actually going to order some Thai food and have dinner on our island, our sad empty kitchen area. I think he actually just came back home, so. Let's eat some dinner. Hello guys. Um, I am wearing a shirt, by the way, because it looked like I was naked for a second. <laughs> we are at our wedding venue right now, doing our wedding menu tasting and my camera battery died so I'm filming this with my phone because I did want to document this and show you guys what we're up to today it's Sunday so this is a great way to spend the Sunday it's pretty early so we're gonna do this and choose basically what dishes we want to be served on our wedding day 
they have like a curated menu for us because we already sent over like the things that we want to try out so and they're getting us some wine and i'm just so excited yeah <laughs> no idea where I left off this video at the last time I filmed because it's already Tuesday today of the following week so I apologize for it just being kind of segmented it's just because we've been so busy lately and I honestly don't know where my brain is at the moment I'm just trying to keep up with everything so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys like this video and before i leave i wanted to show you guys my nails because i finally did them yesterday i did them actually last night and then i shared a photo or like a story on instagram of how they turned out but in case you didn't see it on my instagram i used the lilac color it is so so cute and i tried a very simple kind of design with the little yellow dots around them. I thought it was cute, but it's giving me a little bit of like petri dish vibes with like bacteria growing, but that's just because of my poor color choice <laughs> and the polka dots because that somehow reminded me of biology. Go figure. But I absolutely love how these turned out. Look how cute. I will put on the screen here what colors I use because I am absolutely in love with this purple lilac color. I believe it is part of the Mad Happy collection. So I will leave the links down below in the description as well. All right, you guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Mm -hmm.